Now that we're familiar with adding clients to the database, let's look at how we can activate them as an active buyer. We're going to go to the clients database and we're going to search for my record. Once we go into the record, you can click on the information and go into the buyer criteria section and the first thing you'll need to do is tick them as active. This will mean that they will appear in all of your property buyer matches when you get new listings. Now we can start adding buyer criteria. Select the buyer criteria option and then you'll be able to drop down the ribbon to start adding in the criteria for this particular buyer. First of all, give this buyer criteria a label. So we're going to call this dream house. We now know that their dream house needs to have three or more bedrooms, two bathrooms and spots for two cars. They're looking in certain suburbs of Dolls Point and they're also looking in San Susie. Now that you've added in the suburbs, we can then add in the property types. They'll be looking for a house. They may also consider a townhouse and also a semi. We can now start to add keywords and keywords we will specify in a later tutorial. But the keywords section is something that your agency can customize based on certain criteria you may have. Now if we look at the Dolls Point and San Susie area, there are properties that are on Botany Bay and there are properties that are back from the water. One of the key word requirements might be water views or views of harbour. So as we go into the keywords option, we will be able to select water views or views of harbour or close to school and it will only match properties with those keywords. Again, we will cover this in a separate tutorial as it is a very specific part of the buyer criteria. We now can adjust their pricing and we can see here that their minimum price is 100,000, maximum is 500. You have two options to adjust this by scrolling the bar across here or you can simply type in their max price here and we're going to say their max price is 1.5. We can then enter any notes about this particular client. So buyer specific notes of what they're looking for. We can see I've added needs a property with room for two cars but also two spots off street would be ideal. Once you've entered in all of the buyer criteria, you can update this and it will save that buyer criteria against your buyer and it will label it as their dream house. Now if I also wanted to add in another buyer criteria which was specific to them buying land because they may also consider buying land in a certain price range, we could add another buyer criteria call that land requirements, put in the price that they're willing to pay for land, which could be between 100 and 500, and put in the areas they're looking for, and it will also match houses and land. Once you've entered in your buyer criteria, you will see that it tells you how many properties it matches. Based on my listings, we can now go to the property section, and we can see the matches that this person has for all the listings that we have entered into our database.